What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to make an updated Decky loader video for install because that's different now. And also some of the plugins that really can customize your deck here and get it looking the way that you want to between artwork and how long to beat games and uh, all kinds of different stuff. So we're gonna get into that. Uh, getting over into our game mode here though, I do wanna mention as a side note, previously to install Decky loader through the console, you would need to go into system settings and enable developer mode and then go into developer, enable that CEF debug Bugging option and it would appear you no longer need to do that to install and run decky loader so i did want to make note of that i didn't have any of this um, and enabled as i did previously to install so just something to make note of there now in order to do this we still need to go to desktop mode so we're going to go ahead and switch to desktop mode now and once we get over there we'll be able to get our install going so i'm just going to go over here and bring up our browser I'm going to type in Decky Loader, and they should be the first search option typically that will come up for GitHub here. And we'll click on that. I'll also put this link in the description for you. And now we're on their page here. Make sure you show some love to everybody who contributes to this awesome, awesome software because it is one of my favorite things on Steam Deck. Now they have this nice little downloader here that you're going to be able to use, and we'll take a look at that in just a second. They also have all the different features and common issues and things laid out here for you to check out on their GitHub page. And it does specifically say here that you won't need your admin or pseudo password as you do in console when you did the install. So you don't need to worry about that developer mode or having a password set. If you do have one set though, You'll be able to put that in there you can still uninstall decky loader or install it rather with the console method if you wanted to do that you would still need your password and then you can uninstall with the decky loader installer which i'll show you later or the old school method with the console prompt here but let's go ahead and continue on and get decky loader installed now it's much easier you just go to this download we're going to go ahead and click it like we would any other file or program that we wanted to download don't try to open it from your browser though it does seem to cause an issue and not want to open properly so just go to wherever you chose to download Decky Loader and open it from there. For me, I just let it go to Downloads. So I'll just double click on Decky Installer. It'll come up here. Here's that password we were talking about. I have one set, so I'll type it in. If you don't have one set, you can just click OK. You no longer have to have one. Now, I have Decky installed on purpose so I can show you. You have Uninstall, you have Release, and Pre-Release. So if you're installing this for the first time, you'll just go ahead and go with the normal release. Click OK there, and it will do the download and install process automatically. Now, once that's finished up, we can click OK, and we're already good to go back to game mode. So let's switch back to game mode here. And now that we're back over on game mode, we'll go ahead and hit our little three dot button or our quick access button here on the right hand side of our Steam Deck to bring up our menu. And now at the bottom, we'll see this little plug sign for Decky. Now you can go into the settings and check for updates, change your update channel. I'm running stable currently here and some other options in here. Not typically much that you need to mess with as the average user. And then over in plugins is where all of your installed plugins would be, where you can update them and uninstall them, which is important to be able to know as well. So we're going to go over here to the store, which you can go through here and select many different awesome little plugins for the Steam Deck. CSS Loader is one I'm definitely going to add in. I'm going to put a bunch of different um plugins here that we're going to take a look at vibrant deck one of my favorites as well if you know me from my previous videos i'm still using this on both of my decks for more saturation and color uh when i'm playing portably a bunch of other great ones here proton db badges uh another one that i love to have on my steam decks so we'll throw that one in there Typically, just go through and get all the stuff that you would like to have. Now, Shared Deck or Shared Deck is a newer one that I wanted to check out, and it lets you uh, report on your currently open game. I'm still kind of figuring this one out a little bit and learning my way around it, but I wanted to add it in there so I can see how it evolves. I do like to check out the new plugins. So we've got all these installed here ready to go, and we're going to take a look at each of these and just kind of why I want to use them, and Shared Decky being a new experience there so css loader is basically your themes so if you go into manage themes there's a ton that you can go through i'm not going to spend too much time in here because you'll probably want to browse and figure out what you want to use for different kinds of themes there's even ones to change system-wide colors and all different things like that um, some are system-wide some are tweaks there's lots of different ones to try in here i'm just going to install the switch like home one just to show you the process so i click on here and i have the install option i just click on install It'll be done really quickly and then that theme will be installed here so i'll go up here to installed themes you can see this is where we would want to delete any installed themes we had and if we go and back out of here i'll go back into decky and you can see now we have a toggle for switch like home so i can toggle this on and then it would just switch the steam decks home area here 
to look like the switch. So pretty simple, go through, find all the different kind of themes you might enjoy using, especially some of the really cool system wide ones and easily enable those in CSS loader. Now Vibrant Deck we'll take a look at in a little bit, um, but I would wanna move over to Proton TV badges. One of my other favorites to have here and the nice thing is you can adjust the badge sizes and the location and stuff, which can be helpful, especially if it's blocking your view on some of your banners or logos or whatever. So that is nice. So with Proton DB badges, we can go into the game here and we'll see like we have gold for Midnight Suns or we might have platinum or others. And you can look up and see what games might be working well that aren't necessarily verified or unverified for deck with Proton DB. So something I really like to use. Now, Animation Changer is another fun one that's from the past video I did with Decky Loader. A really easy way to put in your boot animations, shuffle different boot videos on load up and that type of thing. So you just go into the manage animations, much like you did with the themes. And again, I won't spend too much time here. Looks like it's getting a little spicy in the um, themes these days or the load up videos, but that's cool. And I'm gonna come down here and find a wholesome Simpsons video that I can add to the deck here. So Simpsons Couch Gag, I'll throw that on here and you'll see a little preview of the animation. You like what you see, you click download animation and then that will have it already good to go on your deck. You don't have to go figure out where to install the video or anything like that. Now we go back into Animation Manager, go to Boot, Default, and you'll see here we have the option to choose that video that we downloaded. So there we go, we have our animations good to go. That's a fun one to mess around with. HLTB or How Long to Beat, there's another fun one that I like for the Steam Deck. You can adjust a little bit of how this looks as well. I just left things for default here when it comes to that. You can hide uh, the view details as well, but I don't like to do that because I do like to be able to check that out. And I'll show you that here in just a second. So let's jump over to a game and you can see how long to beat right here in the middle. 7.4 hours, 10.2 uh, for the main plus extras, 14.4 completionist, 9.9 .9 hours all styles and then if you want to learn more that's where that view details is over here in blue that you can click on that if you want to hide that tab you can but if you leave that up you can click on it come right over to the how long to beat page for that game and see a lot more information about that game and how others have played it how long it's taken them to beat and do different things in the game so a lot of cool information a really great plugin for steam deck now the other one's steam grid db I really enjoy this one as well because artwork on the Steam Deck is something I love to tinker with, especially for non-Steam games. So I can just click start on a game here and go to change artwork with this installed and you'll have your capsules that you can change. We've got our wide capsules in here as well, the hero or um, banner type in here, our logo, our icon, all the different media that you need for all the different areas. And then they're easy to go in and manage. So you no longer have to go to the desktop and clumsily go ahead and put all your different media in all the different areas in Steam that you need to. This is super easy and a lot of fun to go in and make changes. One of the best things is non-Steam games like Xbox Cloud Gaming. So with this, you would just have like a gray box with a name, but you're able to go in here now and change the artwork quickly and easily make it look really nice instead of just having a grayed out box for a non-Steam game. So you can see here I have some other artwork as well. Elden Rings one. It's just something I do like to go through on my Steam Deck and make changes on. So I definitely enjoy Steam Grid DB. Now this newer shared decky, it's going to show your installed games and recommended settings. Now the only game I have installed right now that has those is this one right here with Destroy All Humans. And you can see the list of different settings here and what they have recommended for it. Now if you want to submit your own, you do have to go to their website as far as I understand. You can't do it on deck yet, but it's cool to be able to go through and do this. Now like I said, this is the only game I had on here that I could go through and actually see these recommended settings from others. All the other games were just uh, empty and didn't have anything yet, but a really cool new plugin that I'll be keeping my eye on. I definitely like this kind of stuff when it comes to Steam Deck. It can be very useful. Let's go ahead and get into Vibrant Deck. I think it's the last thing that I want to take a look at here for us, and it really helps in handheld mode with the screen, uh, the vibrancy of the screen. And before we do that, I do just want to say when you put it all together between Proton DB badges and how long to beat and all these other things here, you can really get an interesting customized experience from artwork to information on your Steam Deck. Really cool. I really enjoy just putting all these plugins together. But anyway, moving over here to the Vibrant Deck plugin I want to take a look at. So we're just set at the standard 100 right now. And when you're at 100, that is the deck's default screen saturation. Now for me, I typically game at 130 to 140 on my saturation. I feel like that works out pretty well. 
and it definitely brings out more vibrancy in the deck's screen. And I do this on both of my Steam decks. It's especially nice on the matte screen deck for some reason, but uh, I really do like that. Now, if you want more saturation, you can go for it, but it will get a little bit blown out. And if you go under the 100, of course, you're moving more towards the black and white. But if I bump this all the way up to, say, like 195, uh, which you can go much, much higher than that, even you will notice you'll start to kind of blow things out and lose detail. And it could get a little bit too vibrant for you. The camera may not be picking it up, but in person that does get pretty nuts. So 130 to 140 for me is pretty typical, maybe 125 to 150 if you really want to push it there, but it definitely makes a nice difference when I'm in handheld mode. One of my favorite plugins for sure here. And if you take a quick look at 100 verse 140 verse that 195, even though it might be hard to see here on YouTube, I can kind of give you a, a general idea there of, of what we're seeing, but definitely something I enjoy. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. All these different plugins really make for a nice experience on Steam Deck. Decky Loader is definitely one of my favorites to have on any of my decks, and it's now even easier to install. Thanks a lot for coming to watch as always. I'll see you guys in the next one.